2019 Gatorade Athlete of the Year Awards here in Green Lake, California with Liam Anderson, Federal High School, Roxford, the boys cross country athlete of the year, the cross national champion. First off, how's it been the first day here in Southern California for this event? It's been a lot of fun. You know, we flew down yesterday, and just, yesterday we had afternoon, just kind of hung out around the hotel, um, and they had some activities for us this morning, so we've been having a good time. Activities such as? Sandcastle building. What's that all about? Uh, team building, I guess, would be my, I think that was the goal, but it was, uh, we had a good time. We went down to Venice Beach and, and hung out. And Okay. Before we get in a little bit, as far as reviewing your cross country season and such, uh, what's ahead for you in the short term and longer term? Short term, uh, I'm getting up to altitude for the rest of the summer, um, and then heading up to school. Altitude, somewhere where we're at, whereabouts? A couple different places. A couple okay. different places. I'll be Boulder for a little while, and then Tahoe for the main stretch, and then we go to that. Okay. So. Is the plan, you discuss already with your coaches, what the plan is your freshman year? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Um, as you know, there's a little bit up in the air there right now, um, so that'll, that'll be decided at a later date. Before, what was the plan with the prior coach? Was it was there already a plan in place, or was it still not ironed out? It had not been ironed out yet. Okay. Yeah. What preferences would you have in the situation? Obviously, it's a, it's a big jump to the collegiate level. Yeah. Do you prefer to get a year to get acclimated as far as the whole everything changing and getting used to Stanford? The way I'm looking at it now is I want to get a national title while I'm there. And I think that a uh, national team title. And I think that this year we have a very good chance of doing that. Um, and if I can be part of that top seven, then I think I want to be Yeah, if you read these titles, that's a good read. I know what I'm after. No, I'm just kidding. As far as this year, obviously a tremendous year in cross country and in track and field. In reviewing, uh, would you change anything at all? I mean, were you pretty pleased? I would think with how most of it, how all of it went. What are your thoughts in, re in reflection? Cross country wouldn't change a thing. I had a blast. Accomplished what I wanted. Um, I think track season, I wasn't ecstatic with the results, but I was still happy with. Um, yeah, how I came out at state. I, I would have liked to get to get the win in both, obviously. If that didn't happen. I would have liked to have run a little faster. I think the one thing that I do regret is that I did not get to run faster. Um, you know, I think I definitely had minutes to run mm -hmm. faster. In the it's it's so much tougher on the guy side, on the girl side. You'll have a super super phenom who can dominate world tables for years sometimes. On the guy side, it, it's so much more difficult to do to try and really do something like that. You you experienced a lot of success. Uh, what did you learn about yourself this year? I mean, you always me as being very cerebral in your preparation and such. But at the same time, you're smart enough. We were also always learning. What did you learn about yourself or about your situation? Early in the year, well, I guess we call it December early in the year, cross country I learned that for me setting a big long term goal is what I need to succeed. Um, and I think shoot for the stars and you get there. Um, track season taught me a lot about being patient, um, a lot about just trusting the process. And, you know, I, I, I think I learned a little bit that. Um, when it comes down to it, I need a race with a little more fire in my life. You mentioned the fact that, uh, in a sense, setting a long-term goal it helps you out. So it's for your focus on presenting it. Obviously, the situation changes a bit more in college because you also have a, a third season officially in there now where you've got some indoor track that's, that's thrown into the mix as well, which can make it even more difficult to try and set a long term goal. I mean, you've got so many things going on. Um, how much are you looking forward to the challenge of college, and how much is it a little bit maybe scary or intimidating, if any? I can't wait. Uh, really? Yeah, oh yeah. You know, I, I've been running more or less solo a lot for the past two years. Um, so I really just can't wait to, to be the slowest guy on the team for a little while. Um, and, and to be the guy at the back of the pack in the workouts and um, work my way up and, and find my place on the team. Um, and then get to contribute to something that's, that's so much greater. Is that a bit of a humbling experience or also maybe a bit of a welcome one uh, to try and chase after you know, people that are potentially supposedly better than you? I, mean, I, would, that like? I would say a little bit of both. You know, humbling in the sense that you know, I'm not used to, to running with guys who are a lot faster than me, just on a daily basis training-wise. Um, and you know, it'll, 
it'll be certainly a welcoming experience in that this is my family for the next four years, the next five years. I mean, this, this is going to be um, you know, one group and yeah, Liam, going to the next level, obviously, it's, it's tough for anybody going from the high school to the collegiate level. Obviously, you have big goals. You've already achieved a great deal in a sense. You mentioned the situation you're stepping into at Stanford with potentially uh, an outstanding team. Um, how difficult is that going to be? For you? It'll be a transition. Um, but change is good, and I'm looking forward to it. And I, I, I trust in in the training that I've put in over the past four years, and, and I know that. that um, is the biggest challenge probably going to be physical in terms of just adapting to stronger athletes around you, or mental in the fact that if you don't bring it, it almost you know. It'll it'll be a little bit of both. You know, obviously they turn the heat up a little bit, um, but I don't mind the heat. So. I think it's going to be certainly a opportunity for me to grow a lot. Um, and I'm going to grow, I'm going to grow you mentioned the key to success in cross country at the high school level. You know, early on in your career, not just the start of this year, but you had that long-term goal that you set, you told your coach about. Are you taking the same approach at the collegiate level where it's got to be one that's that long, it's a multi-year goal you're already planning out, or have you got to that stage yet? You know, I think that's there will be a time where I'll sit down with, with my coach and, and we'll figure that out. Um, I know what I want to do. You know, I, I, I want to win an NCAA title. I want to win an NCAA title as a team. Um, and, you know, whether that's a goal for four years from now or a goal for two years from now, Nowadays in sports, there's a lot of changes that happen all the time in terms of transfers, in terms of you know, as far as pros moving around and so forth. Your situation, you go and you commit to Stanford, and then you find out about the coaching change. How much of a jolt was that to you, or were you not that worried about it because you're shut up at university? Well, I mean, overall, what was the whole... Was that a punch to the gut? Or? I wouldn't call it a punch to the gut. You know, I, I didn't choose Stanford because of one man. Uh, there's so much more to it. Uh, the excellent education, a lot of incredible guys on the team. I mean, there's so much more than just one guy. Um, and after I took my official last fall, um, you know, I was asked, and I came back, you know, very pleased, very excited. I was asked, uh, is it the coaches that you like? they might leave, or is it the team you like and the environment you like? And for me, it was about the environment, the team. Um, so I, I, I knew what I wanted. Yeah. All right, well, again, just dream year. Obviously, California has a lot of success over the youth of individuals so to, to win an XM ex individual title. It's a pretty sweet feat, obviously. And I, mean, I know it's, it's, it's all a byproduct of great plan. That's something that I always wish you know, high school kids would uh, do a better job of, is that long-term planning and that great focus. And we saw what it resulted in. So congratulations also on your uh, nice award this year with Gatorade. Thank you.